Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about summarys in competitive programming. And they're sometimes called prefix summarys. Um, you'll hear uh, both of those terms used. And uh, basically what a summary is, is basically it's um, array that represents uh, the sums of another array. So I think let's, let's see how that might look like in practice. So if we have like this uh, array or list or whatever, and then a summary of that um, array might look like this. So basically every element of the sum array is uh, calculated by uh, adding up all the numbers, um, adding up all the numbers uh, that are before the current uh, index um, in, this, uh, in this array. Uh, a bit hard to explain and, and I'm not very good at explaining. So, uh, what this might look like is one, uh, since uh, there's only one value in here, then the next value would be four because one plus three, and four, and the next value would be um, ten because one plus three plus six, so ten, and then you get the idea. We just keep adding all the values together, uh, or all the values before um, this in the actual array and then we create an array of sums, basically. Basically, a sum of all the values up till that point there. And uh, you might ask, why is this uh, useful? Well, um, it has uh, two applications. Uh, one is um, faster sum calculation. That I'm not too sure about, uh, because I think the sum uh, function in Python is already pretty good. Uh, but I guess if you're dealing with really huge numbers, it might make a difference. Not really sure about that. And another application is using a two-dimensional sum array for uh, two-dimensional arrays, or just multi-dimensional arrays. So if you have like a 2D array, and you want to say, uh, if you have a 2D array like this, hold on. And you have like a bunch of numbers, And uh, you wanted just to like calculate the sum of uh, these four values. So the bottom uh, little square of values. And uh, you, you might uh, have to, if you're doing it normally, you might have to like create a, a union of all the lists. Well, of, of different like, well, you have to like access a bunch of different indexes, which really makes it difficult. But if you make a summary, you can just sort of um, take this value and then take this value because it takes all the values up to that point, right? Uh, so you can just um, take those values and then sort of subtract um, the sums. And then that gives you the sum for all the numbers in this range. And you don't have to actually access all the indexes. Uh, all, access all the elements with their indexes and uh, add them together. So that's the convenience. So how do you create a sum array in Python? So first we have, so first let's create an array. Um, and then um, a sum array we can create with just a list comprehension. Hold on. So, so we can do um, using list slicing. Uh, so sum, yeah, notice how we're still using the uh, sum function uh, in, uh, that's, a built, that's built in. So uh, that, it, it looks a bit pointless, but you might find more application for it when you're dealing with two dimensional arrays. So sum and then, so basically all the elements uh, up to I or I in range um, one, let's see. Yeah, one since we have to include the first one and the slicing uh, doesn't include the element at the, the last element at this index. So we have to start at one and we start at len array uh, plus one, I think. Yeah. And then uh, if, if we just, uh, if we pr pr print out the 
array from index 2 to index 5. And then try that. Then we get uh, these elements. And uh, and if, if we want to calculate the sum of uh, these values normally, you can use the sum function, which gets 15, which is the right answer. And then you can also use the sum array to do this. So sum array, uh, sum array 4 minus sum. So we're, we're doing the one with one less index because, well, we used, um, so, so it's always, well, I'm not sure how you explain, but this works. So as you can see, they yield the same result. And um, yeah, so what are the uh, real, what is the real use of this? Well, as I said before, two dimensional uh, arrays and uh, maybe calculating sums faster. And uh, oh, speaking of which, uh, time complexity. So if you're finding uh, the sum from like an already made sum array, then it's uh, O1 time because it's just subtraction, right? That's O1 time. And uh, if you want, if you're creating a sum array, that's O N time. And then uh, if you're using the sum function in Python like this, then that's um, O N time. So which is basically the same, but if you use a li list comprehension, that might slow things down actually. So, uh, so that won't save you much time, but it will create some convenience when you're working with multi-dimensional arrays. All right, so that's all for today and hope you learned something new. Goodbye.